Ethan is a guy that was kind of up and down through the fall and then the early part of the preseason. How nice has this four-game stretch been for you to, to go out there and be able to produce like you have been? It's been pretty nice. I mean, I mean, Coach Current told me to keep my head down and keep up the hard work. I mean, it's going to click soon. And obviously it did. And having a lot of fun with it. You know, I got to keep my head down, like stick to the plan just as always and never like, like on to the next day. Like tomorrow we'll play Queens and that's all that matters right now. Eli, just first start, I guess, how did it feel? What were kind of the emotions of it? And uh, I know Coach Kingston said got a little sped up maybe at times, yeah. but I guess just how did it feel kind of through the, those four innings? I think I was just just excited the whole time. I was just really excited to be out there. I mean, I practiced the whole time. I mean, the falls, springs, everything. I was just really excited to finally finally be out there for the guys. Ethan, we've talked with Coach Kingston a couple times now, and he's praised your development since when you came on campus. Um, from your perspective, where have you come the furthest? I would say uh, mentally. You know, uh, uh, preseason this year, I mean, I got hit by a truck. I mean, like, I couldn't buy a hit. You know, and I work with Monty. I work with, I work with Current, Wingo, Kingston. Like, we all, like, figured out what was wrong. And, you know, uh, it was just all mental. And mentally I became stronger. You know, like it's, at the end of the day, it's just a game. And, like, I'm just out here to have fun, you know. There ain't nothing better than this. Coming off the bench in the first game and getting my first hit, I mean, I was locked in all game. And it was just like, like even seeing all the fans out there was just experience I'll never forget. Uh, Eli, fourth inning, getting a little bit of trouble. Um, get a conference from Justin Parker, kind of settled on get those two outs. What was kind of going through your mind at that point? And did you notice anything kind of change for you to be able to get out of that inning and finish your day strong? Uh, I wouldn't say anything changed, no. The mindset was still the same. Just get these batters out. Um, when a situation like that happens, it doesn't really go through my head. I just try to stay within my plan and just pitch a good game. Colin? Ethan, what was the last time you played right field? Uh, junior year. Junior year? Yeah. Okay. And Coach Kingston talked, I guess, after one of the games this weekend about you making an adjustment to your swing and how you would attack the ball. What was that specific adjustment to? So uh, what the problem was was uh, swing – uphill and swinging under every baseball and so seeing high velocity that's why I was just trying to yank the ball out and I finally got work with Monty and just go downhill to the ball instead of uphill and it has worked really well for me I mean that's yeah that's worked really well Eli you kind of struggled to locate in the first inning with and I think your fastball topped at uh, 96 on the stadium gun and then in the next few innings I noticed your fastball velocity on stadium gun was a tick down was that intentional to help um locate no definitely not intentional I mean it was kind of just something that happened just trying to work my pitch count back up to to the starting role I mean but I think that's just what happened with being the first outing but uh yeah, I think the next outings to come, it'll start being improvement throughout the innings. Eli, I guess pitch count wise, is that kind of where you're at right now? About sixty something. Yeah, pitches, right roughly? now. That's where I was. Where I was for this game. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it'll definitely be ramping up throughout games. Oh. Ethan, Coach Kingston said tonight, y'all came out with a chip on your shoulder and, and really want to play. What led to the chip on your shoulder, and how kind of imperative is that for midweek games where there's not as much juice in the park as maybe a weekend? Yeah, I mean, like. Uh, that team came out fired up. We knew uh, we knew the pitcher coming in. He was fired up, and we wanted to get him out and lickety split, you know. And we, we ended up doing it. And uh, he, we ended up getting the bullpen, attacked the bullpen arms, and I mean, the chip on our shoulder was just we should play like that every game, you know. Like no matter what is said on on any media, like you just got to go out there and just have a chip on your shoulder, no matter who you play. Eli, coming in and making your debut, did that live up to the hype that you were building up for, you know, finally making your first start? I mean, yeah. I mean, it was living up to the hype. I mean, yeah, it was all something I've been waiting for. And, uh, yeah, I think it was all all good. Yeah. Yeah. Eli, just give you a chance to get your word in. Do you, when do you feel like he'll be able to, to, to pitch again? How quickly can you bounce back from after throwing this? Uh, whenever they need me. I feel like I can uh, bounce back as quick, quick as possible. I mean, I don't feel like I uh, put too much tax on my body when I pitch, so I'm ready to go whenever uh, the coaches need it. Any other questions? One more round. 
Ethan, we've seen a lot about you know your power, the team's power, but these walks, I think you had 11 today. There was one point, there was three in a row. How much does that kind of work for you guys when kind of one guy's walk, it leads to the next? How much is kind of play discipline contagious as much as maybe actually swinging the bat is? Uh, I mean, Omani has worked with us with play discipline constantly. I mean, like we're just always working on our play discipline and we take that really seriously. Even when we're facing the machine out there the other day, uh, Thursday before UMass Lau, we were facing that lefty fastball like off the machine and it was throwing balls but no one adjusted it so we were able we were able to take the pitches and then if it went once it threw the strike we saw it and then the contingency of just walks and then hits and then it's just like everything just with our offense is just explosive you know like like one through nine even the guys on the bench are just coming off the bench ready to go Eli, I mean, I know it's only four innings. I'm sure you would have liked to pitch a little bit longer and all that. But I guess uh, in a start like that, are you able to settle in with that that sort of a brief go? And I guess wh- when did you feel like you kind of settled in, if at all? I definitely feel like I was uh, able to settle in. I think right after the first inning, I was really settled in. I think getting that first inning, getting that under my belt, kind of finally get that out of the way, I was able to settle down and just do my game. Exactly about all I wanted to do. Yep. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks.